Michaela left the study group traveling six miles per hour. Then four hours later, Kayla left traveling the same direction at 18 miles per hour. How long until Kayla catches up with Michaela? So if we draw a little scenario here, we have Michaela. She's traveling. Kayla's driving, traveling the same direction. She just left a little bit later, but she's going faster. We're looking at the point where Michaela catch it, where Kayla catches up with Michaela. So the distance is the same. I like to make a chart where we have that the rate times the time is equal to the distance and we're looking at Michaela and Kayla. Michaela's going 6 miles per hour and Kayla's going 18 miles per hour. We don't know how long it's taking Michaela to go so we're just going to call that x but we know that Kayla left 4 hours later so that's x minus 4. To get d you multiply 6 times x is 6x and 18 times x minus 4 is 18 times x minus 4. Since we're talking about the same distance, we're just going to set the two distances equal to each other and solve. So that's 6x equals 18 times x minus 4. That's 6x equals 18x minus 72. Subtract 18x on both sides to get the variables together. We have negative 12x equals negative 72. Divide both sides by negative 12 and we get that x equals 6. However, it says how long until Kayla catches up. So you want to know um, Kayla's time so that would be 6 minus 4 because remember she left 4 hours later. So it was just 2 hours. We want to put a 2 in there. So remember to go back in and adjust for Kayla's time.